Those two are going at it, and I am terrified that someone's gonna rip someone's eyeball out. Hello there, everyone. Thanks for checking out the video. This is gonna be a recap of episode two of the Challenge Battle of the Seasons. Which starts off with the challengers hanging out at some kind of a boat club, and for some reason the editors decided to leave in this clip of Knight's booty crack, so that's weird. And then we cut to Frank saying he's gonna run the show because he's got this big alliance, which Marie wants to be a part of, but Troy's like, hell no, I'm not gonna be friends with that psycho. Welcome to Lamina Beach here in Yalakovac, Turkey. Today's challenge is called Oil Change. You guys may not know this, one of Turkey's national sports is wrestling. As you can see, we have a giant pit here filled with olive oil. Today, you guys are going to be doing a good old-fashioned oil wrestling match. Well, I mean, this has to be one of the greatest challenges of all time. And I don't think I need to say why. Push me out, she slips back. There you go, get me, you bitch. Push her! Push her! Use the beat on me! My nerves are like kicked up and I go in crazy mode. Oh. And I pick her up and body slam her. You okay, Jess? She has spit 30. His head goes straight for the face. He's bigger, he's longer, and he's stronger. But I got skill and I got will. Those two are going at it, and I am terrified that someone's gonna rip someone's eyeball out. It's a draw, let's go! Stop, that's fucking cool! Stop, it's a serious stop. Whatever, you're too young, you're like a fucking king! Too much testosterone in this new game. the ribs, then! Kenzie's like a little pretty Barbie, and I'm kind of like a lion. Like, I just want to go in. I want to like rip her apart. No, oh, and I forgot to mention the person who wins gets to choose the next matchup, and whoever wins uh, that match gets a little puzzle piece, and whichever team gets all theirs first wins. No footing whatsoever. It's a ground game, basically. Jimmy's foot touch. Yeah! All right, San Diego, one step closer. So they would go in. Now, everything is going well, and everybody's trying hard and fighting for real until Frank and CJ come up with a plan to start matching up with people strategically. Uh, not to win, though, but to throw the matches, because if they keep every other team out of the ring, they don't even have a chance at winning. And their uh, their two teams, they can just go back and forth until they get all their pieces, and that's exactly what happens. Which gives San Diego the win and leads to all the other teams making deals and throwing matches back and forth so they, too, can get their pieces. Which, in turn, leads to a real-world Austin and a real-world St. Thomas being the last two teams in the challenge. And they both only need one more win to stay out of last place and going directly into elimination. And it all comes down to Melinda and Laura. This is do or die right now. Come on, Laura! Mel's a tough competitor. She's a tough woman. She'll fight to the end. And it's Laura that pulls out the win because just Melinda sucks ass at things. <laughs> but it was a good battle, you know, it was a good battle. Uh, but sadly for Melinda, that means her and her ex-husband, Danny, the greatest challenger of all time, will be going into elimination together. So that should, that should be fun. 
Later that night, after the challenge, Big Easy, he tells Camilla and Kara, like, hey, y'all need to, you know, y'all need to go talk to Team San Diego, because I've heard they might be thinking about throwing us in, because they have a little animosity towards us, because Camilla and Frank went at it, uh, they went at it a little bit during the challenge. But Brandon was smart and is like, nah, nah, that was just that was just game talk coming out. Doesn't mean anything. And really, you should go talk to St. Thomas because they were on Wes's side before he left and might be coming after you. So San Diego goes to talk to them. But Zach and Trey, they just don't like each other for some reason. I don't know why. And the conversation goes sideways when Trey doesn't, you know, kind of bend over and capitulate to Zach and Frank. In the end, San Diego, they do... It was Team Fresh Meat to go into elimination against Real World Austin, though, so... Yeah. I guess none of that mattered. But before the elimination, the house gets to go out to an actual club, unlike nowadays where they rent out a whole bar or something, and it's just the challengers there, and they clearly have to, like, pay them to party, and like, hey guys, come on, we need a cool dance scene. Um, boring. But it's here where Zach and Jonay, they do, they become more serious, and, you know, they even talk about being together after the show, as well as Knight telling Jemmy he should have married her. Now, it's the next morning and the day of the elimination, and Team Fresh Meat, they're having a little bit of a spat. Because they're going into an endurance elimination, and both Kara and Camilla are like, hell no, I'm not going in if I've got Big Easy as a partner, and you know, I can't blame them, to be honest, from his past. We all know what's happened. Okay, so are we just not agreeing on anything? They don't really have anything to say. If we can't agree, we know they're going to make the decision, so. But that leads them to not making a choice for themselves at elimination. So San Diego, they get to choose a guy and a girl to go in, and they end up choosing Big Easy and Camilla. So let's get to this elimination. All right, guys, you ready? Yeah. And in the end, Camilla and Eric, they uh, send home Melinda and Danny. Of course, remember what the greatest challenger of all time Danny is. Um, which I honestly don't think that Melinda and Danny were too upset about. I don't think they really wanted to hang out with their ex-wife and ex-husband for the next couple weeks all by themselves and be on a team together. So I think they were okay with that. And that brings another challenge recap to a close. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And have a good one.